in the small town of Mena, Arkansas at the Mena Park. Place holds a holds a pretty special place in my heart. I did a couple concerts here when I did sound and staging with my friend Don. And uh, it's just a neat little park. I did quite a concert out here. But I just I really I really like this little park. It's neat. Uh, it's got some cool stuff, including this statue these kids in the rain uh, it's apparently a fountain of some sort i don't know that i've ever seen it with the water spraying up though but what it reminds me of is if you're if you're around my age they used to have those lamps that you could buy they were called rain lamps and they had the little the little uh wires running down they had beads of oil that fell and it looked like it was raining in that lamp and that's what this this sculpture is always reminding me of Always reminded me of that a little bit. Of course, got a couple cannons up here. And the clock. Got the clock tower going on. Just a, just a nice little park. I'll walk over here and see this. There's a... Uh, memory of George Lockridge. 1859 to 1917. And the clock is uh, not, that clock's not right. <laughs> it is actually seven minutes to 12, so maybe the clock is not, not working anymore. Walk over here. Monsignor A.P. Gallagher. He was a park commissioner in 1906. He moved the spring 30 yards northward and added another pond with a connecting bridge, which is right down there. We'll walk down there in a minute. 53 years a pastor at St. Agnes Catholic Church. A lot of history around here. Mina's, Mina's a neat little town. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, a uh, little bit of duck action going on. A couple of ducks hanging out over here. Wonder how close I can get. How y'all doing? Good morning, ducks. How are you? How you doing? Look at the oh man, what a display there. That's awesome. That is awesome. Are you telling me I've gotten close enough? Is that what you're saying? I don't think you're bothered by me at all. I don't think I'm bothering you too much. Look at you. Good morning. This cabin was built in 1851. I believe it's a county seat. First county seat of Polk County, Arkansas. This little cabin is neat though. They use it uh, as an office and stuff, I think. I've actually been in there. Of course, it's closed right now. National Register of Historic Places. Looks like they're just storing some stuff in there right now. I know when they were doing the, when we did the uh, concert and stuff up here, they were using it as like a little office for the headquarters for the the park. But that is an old, old timey cabin. Kind of looks like the cabin from the movie The Evil Dead a little. I don't think anything that bad has ever taken place in here though, I hope. down here to the uh, to the pond and look around a little bit I always enjoy coming to Mina when I get a chance to it is a windy damp kind of a cool day but that's not slowing us down any as long as it's not pouring rain I'll still be out here filming videos for you guys it takes a lot more than a little bit of wet to stop me <laughs> Alright, 
we're almost to the almost to the pond. I'm sure you can hear the waterfall go. We flip this thing around. It's a lot a lot of better stuff to look at here than my face, I'm sure. <laughs> a couple of more ducks. Look at you guys. A lot of ducks hanging around, hanging out around the pond today. What you doing, buddy? What are you doing down there, huh? Hanging out? You got a pretty good spot to hang out in, don't you? little gazebo over here. It's very interesting looking. I think I'm going to walk over to it because it looks like it's dug out. Take a look. Hey, Dutch. How are you? I think I see what the deal is now. That's very interesting. It's a, uh, yeah, that's a spring that feeds the pond. And you can uh, actually go down here into this little dugout dug out gazebo and see where the water is flowing out of. The one in Texarkana at uh, Spring Lake Park used to be like this, but they've got it all covered up and capped off now. You can't get in there. Yeah, that's the way that they made a, made a uh, pipe for it, but it's also coming up underneath the concrete there and running out. But that's some good water though. I kind of like the way this is dug out down here. There's a church bells going there. to the ambiance a little.
didn't plan on hearing those church bells, but it's kind of nice that I guess it's because it's 12 o'clock and just kind of added to the ambiance a little. You gotta love a happy, happy accident like that. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, that water just runs down through, through there and feeds the pond. And you can walk right down here to it. Definitely a, definitely a nice little park here in Mina. Always appreciative of, of towns keeping things like this up. Kind of makes my day to see it. the simple things in life that are really worth it about 90% of the time we get we get kind of kind of caught up in things that we think we need when really man all you need sometimes is just to be able to take a walk and breathe the air it means more than a lot of stuff okay that's my that's my melancholy words of wisdom for the day back to being fun <laughs> A little windy today, but just thought that was a neat looking tree. Just a nice park in general. All right. Man, that church is playing a, it's a whole concert. I wonder how long that goes on for. This is the this is the LP version. This is not the not the 45 single version. This is the the full on album. <laughs> if you're in my age group, you'll get what I'm talking about. Young people will be like, "What?" It's not the MP3 version. That's for sure. All right. Well, I guess we're going to move on from here. Been a really nice, uh, nice little visit to the park, though. Thought you might enjoy it. Of artillery here you can say a lot about it you can say it's rusty but you can't say it's tired get it because there's no t no tires that's ah, said my dad joke for the day now there'll be more I'm a big fan of the dad jokes <laughs> but it's not it's not tired I think it's funny Man, wouldn't want to be in that building over there. This thing's like aimed right for it. It'd probably take the whole right side off. Whew. Good thing it's uh, decommissioned, huh? 